This is ikan kembung, also known as ikan rakyat, the people's fish. It is called that way uh, because of its availability and affordability in Penang. The price is between 8 to 15 ringgit per kg. But in order for the fish to grow in abundance, uh, it needs this tiny important creature. Without it, it could mean the disappearance of our ikan kembung and possibly the collapse of our whole marine ecosystem. Uh. Phytoplankton Phytoplankton uh, are the base for the largest food web of the world. It thrives along our coastlines, uses sunlight and nutrients from the land to grow and attracts another plankton called zooplankton. This zooplankton will eat this phytoplankton. This plankton activity near our coastal area but that attracts ikan kembung and other small fishes and prawns and crabs to spawn and feed on the zooplankton. Wow, you see, you see? Ah, how he opens his mouth to makan the plankton so holy. Ah. What this means is, more phytoplankton means more zooplankton, which then stimulates the growth of more ikan kembung for the rakyat. But unfortunately, ho, oh, our state government of Penang wants to reclaim this coastal area in the south of our island. And this action will severely disrupt nature's food web. Scientists around the world have written countless papers about the severe impact of massive reclamation. In China, this research shows a decrease of phytoplankton and zooplankton in their reclaimed area. It concluded that reclamation projects will change the living environment of marine organisms, decrease the diversity of biology, and change the structure of community. And in 2018, China suspended and stopped all commercial land reclamation after many damning environmental reports. But Penang oh, decides to do the opposite. Hiya. One thing for sure, when Penang South Reclamation starts, the following will happen. Our phytoplankton at the south of Penang will decrease. Then, its zooplankton will decrease. Because these are foods for our ikan kembung, they will also decrease. And other bigger fish and marine mammals whose diet are these small fishes and ikan kembung will suffer. And then who else will suffer? We will suffer. Because ikan kembung price will increase from 15 ringgit per kg to maybe 25, 30 ringgit per kg. Huh? Gila! This means your laksa will increase, your nasi lemak ikan will increase, your favorite nasi melayu with ikan kembung goreng kunyit will increase. <sighs> I hope this will not happen. Please lah, Penang government, don't change this fish from ikan rakyat to ikan tialat, okay? You already increased our assessment tax. Don't lie, increase the price of our seafood also. Ini semua kerja orang gila ni Itulah saya recommend. Orang gila lah. Sekarang banyak orang sudah gila. 